For most couples, having a child is the mark of a happy beginning. Unfortunately, in my case, my parents divorced shortly after I was born. My mother moved to the United States, leaving me behind in Vietnam with my father. My father was an alcoholic who started hurting me when I was very young. As I grew up, my father's anger and rage left deep scars on my body and soul. On my 13th birthday, my dad hurt and humiliated me so badly that I decided to end my life. A friend found me in time and rushed me to the hospital. I was told to never tell anybody about what had happened, because suicide is considered very shameful in Vietnamese culture. The next time my father tried to hit me, I fought back and escaped to the only place I felt safe, my grandmother's house. Around this time, I began to notice that I was attracted to boys instead of girls. I hid this information from my family because being gay wasn't something I could be proud of in my culture. I felt ashamed of this part of myself and kept it a secret. When I was 15, my mom came back and took me to Pennsylvania to live with her. The day I got on the flight to America, I felt happier than a man winning the lottery. I was so excited to start a new chapter of my life away from all the horrible things that happened to me in the past. However, when my mother found out I was gay, she told me that I was a disgrace to her family and asked me to leave. I was devastated. My mom reaffirmed the fear that I dreaded for many years. Nobody loves me, not even my own mother. She made me feel like no matter what I did, I would never amount to anything. I moved to California to live with my aunt and focus on the one thing that had always been a comfort to me, school. I didn't deal with my emotions because I was afraid if I let myself think about them, they would break me. But I couldn't bottle my feelings up forever. The stress of daily life combined with the rejection and abuse I suffered in the past pushed me into a long period of deep sadness. It was hard to get out of bed in the morning because I felt sad and useless all the time. Yet, I refused to get help. But when I started feeling suicidal again, I knew I had to do something. I couldn't live my life feeling like I was wasting everyone's time. I went to a psychiatrist for help and learned that I was not the only one who had these sad thoughts and feelings. The emotions I was experiencing was a part of something called depression. I finally realized I couldn't go through this alone, so I started talking to trusted friends about what I was going through, and they listened to me and gave me advice for how to deal with my feelings. I also went on medication for depression and continued to reach out to my support system, and over time, I started feeling better. My recovery from depression helped me realize I shouldn't be ashamed of who I am, but as a gay man and as a person with mental health challenge. It felt like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders. After so many years of rejection and shame, I finally learned to accept myself and surround myself with people who love me for who I am. I felt free. Now I am earning all A's in my classes at UC Davis. I continue to share my story because it's important to share the truth about mental illness. Ignoring my emotions didn't work for me because what I went through will always be a part of who I am and those experiences help me to be more aware of what others are going through. By working hard and focusing on my recovery and goals, I hope to be the living proof that people with mental illness can recover and contribute to society and help make the world a better place. Sự cố gắng và chú tâm vào quá trình hồi phục sức khỏe là nỗ lực của bản thân tôi để chứng minh cho cộng đồng Việt Nam nói riêng và xã hội nói chung thấy là những người thành viên trong cộng đồng với vấn đề tâm lý vẫn có thể tích cực đóng góp và phục vụ xã hội.